G'day, I'm James at Grab Action Comics. Just give me a shot. Essentially, Graph Action Comics is a comic shop. We import comics and cool stuff direct from the States every week. We go and get uh, the latest uh, comics three days after they get released from the States. I import comics, I import action figures, I clear my stuff through customs, I use local wholesalers for DVDs, trading cards, stuff like that. I also run a standing order. Basically, we're a comic and specialty store business, in amongst the many things that we do. Sorry, how's it going? It's James at the comic shop. So I pressed the wrong button twice and I thought I hung up on you and I was panicking. Uh, when I was about six, my like best it? friend through uh, preschool, uh, his old brother, uh, used to buy Green Lantern and Crisis. And I was staying over, I'd, you know, just read through 20 odd comics or whatever. And it was after about two years of doing this that I really started to get into these stories and these characters and I sort of started to identify pretty heavily with Spider-Man and Iron Man. I think Iron Man because he was an alcoholic. I think Spider-Man because he's always getting shat on. That's sad. My name is Creature and I eat vegetables and store the power of the earth in my redlocks. Oh, fuck. Came up with the name Graphic Action Comics. So I basically started to get finances, get backing, get uh, business pro plans together to show the banks. Uh, so basically, at age 24, I went into debt for the rest of my life in 2001, July. So now here I am. I've moved shop and reinvested a couple of times more since then. And now I'm broken than ever, but look at my pretty comic shop. Eh? I have to work every day for the rest of my life and pay off the bank. Eh, too easy. Um, so that's fine. I've got alcohol, I've got comics. Now, uh, one thing I've learned about drugs and alcohol, don't waste them on work, mate. Like, fucking take them when you can have some fun with them. I like to think I've got a good relationship with my customers. I'll, I'll try to be friendly. Um, I'll try not to put anything on. Um, I'll just try to be straight up. James is good. He talks fast, which is good. <laughs> I thought he did. No, I was wondering why he might have taken that. I thought he maybe gave you his up or something. He is an encyclopedia of information when it comes to the pick. Everything from the store, so. Now, I can tell you most everything you need to know about this. What do you mean, I don't know. Kevin Smith wrote this. This is actually yeah, Kevin right. Smith's first uh, comic writing thing he'd done. Well, he'd only ever written the. Uh, yeah, I'm sure my customers buy comics elsewhere. Um, there's plenty of places on the internet to buy comics from. There's there's uh, Sydney, just 200 kilometres away, with plenty of comic shops. I'll actually go to other comic shops and browse along in Sydney and uh, wait till I get back up here to buy them. Probably the closest place if you'd find everything would be you'd have to take a trek down to Sydney or buy everything off the net and I'm not really too keen about doing that. For me, comics represent one of the last rebel medium industries. Comics really provide just a level of conceptual freedom. There are just new chapters constantly rising and if you feel like you're not digging one story, you just move on to another one. We're comics, we've been doing this for ages. Uh, why do you think Hollywood drip off all our ideas? Because we've got all the good ones. I've got to admit though, I didn't like any of the superhero movies. Well, in that case, you had yeah, cranky pants on when you walked in, didn't you? I suppose everyone's got a stereotype, eh? Like, and there's going to be a negative stereotype across every job that goes. Um, honestly, I don't give a shit, eh? Like, um, if people want to label me because he reads comic books, so he's obviously mentally deficient. I'm sort of past that whole stage in my development where I feel threatened if someone goes, Oh, who's a nerd? There are people out there who hate me, eh? Because I've got a pretty extreme personality and uh, I don't hold it back usually for what I do. Um, if someone asks me a really stupid question, a lot of times I will say, that's a really stupid question. Oh, I couldn't be bothered answering that one, that's a bit pointless, isn't it? As far as it goes, you speak to the average person who reads comics, they're usually someone who's got artistic appreciation, someone who's got liberal appreciation. You want to see some nerds? Computer fair. A lot, I get a lot of uh, satisfaction from just seeing those little kids' eyes light up and they're just like, oh, that's so cool. And that little part of me that remembered why I started reading comics in the first place. Gosh, wow, holy my god, I've got the power of an alien race. I was like, oh, shit. I think you'll probably find me here for the next 50 years. I plan to try to run the best damn comics that I can. Cheers, brother! Cheers, bye!